It's only a level one silence right now, but if he weighs aggressively, he hits more defensively. He was a bit too far, he and his wave out will keep him too far away. And they're going to lead it up with an ensnare, and they should be able to get this grab. Oh, that was down. really close. Jerix on the Aeldon Titan. They're guarding it about, looking to go for the stomp time. It's a DD rune. No kill comes in with the Chrono, and Sumail really wants to get it, but could be losing his own life. There's going to be the coil, there's going to be the draw, and now he's looking to side step out. They great one and one apiece. And now no tail caught on the ensnare. Attack on top of it, a lasso pullback. And with that takedown, turns to be a bit more profitable for EG. I mean, it's also just a really weak lane. Uh, face the boy plus older Titan. Going for some mail now. There's the Hex, there's the stun, waveform. Do they have the burst? Now that it's already there, makes the jump over. And they're not going to be able to make it out. Dice here now. Those rotations in from Chris are going to get the disruption. Ana, though, gaining all that strength under the disruption is going to be fine. Makes it back to the fountain and makes it worth it for OG. Most OG are kind of hanging out towards the top lane. We have the rest he's of the walking here. Into the observer ward. Oh, he's been spotted. Flies right oh, there. He blinked over it into S4. Flies into the red from Lee to the hex, the crush, the finger. But that observer ward, that observer ward that they have on the dire side actually gave him a, a false sense of security, though. That's really what killed them right there. Radiant structures. I, I'm pretty sure they saw the smoke because at the moment. Oh, bound below. It looks like they've been able to spot out Fly, and they'll take him down just as fast. The stop will be there from Jarek. On is going to be here now. Did they make it first down side? He's looking to go for it now. He's going to get off the split. Did something spare. He's going to run him into the bar. He's going to strength. Manifoid. Not going to be enough. Coiled up now. There is going to be the lack. There's going to be the catch, and they're going to get it. Now they're looking for Jarek's two. He will settle for the two man take. Point in, perhaps with a Chronosphere. Let's see if they can catch Arteez. He is rushing back and away here. Universe is nearby, but now he's like, do I need to help Arteez out? There is going to be a committed rush from the floor. And a Chrono Flame Break helps keep him back a bit, but yeah, with all that firepower, it is not going to be enough. Arteez just getting... They don't want to move in there. They don't have vision. They can't just approach there. They'll get... They can easily get sung upon. Counter with like, uh, oh. They said Jarek's in the darkness, though. So. Yeah, that's... <laughs> That's what happens when you try and approach that area. Think slowly but surely, OG are feeling the gears getting turned on. Yeah. Unless RTZ dies. Uh oh. Fly been able to jump up and over here with the Blink Dagger, and they have plenty of lockdown await. And without Zai nearby with a song to help bail him out, he is set to be doomed. And it can lead to a lot more destruction. But here's Zoom Bail with the turnaround play. Gonna be committing it with a coil. Dump the corruption. To help keep him alive. They're gonna get the burst and finish off S4. Now they're looking for No Tail. Stranded with no mana. He just gets quickly eaten up. Turns into an easy trade for one. But they want more than that. Rushing on forward is gonna be Sumail. There's the orb. There's the jump. Jarek going to the corner. He can stop the angry stomp. And even the earth splitter here. But he has nowhere else to run. He's going to be also taken care of. Now it's time for round four. Zana shows up the mid boss here. And as he goes for a TP, there's going to be disruption. This is certain trouble for him if he can't make it away. The waveform puts some space out, but Zumail is not done yet. He needs to adapt to strike, gets the orb off, and makes it a double. What a doozy of a fight. You want to go in for the lineup, but it's still good at pushing out the lanes. And that's... Oh, they got on a pop of Lincoln. They cancel his TP. Have the lasso ready for him. There's going to be the mana boys. And there's Jeezy chopping away <laughs> at the water. And potentially could creep in it from behind. This is very awkward. Total wraparound of each other. And now they totally swap sides. And four moves in. These are Jeezy. Jumping in those for you. And now that it's going to open back out. Still stomped up. It's going to be on the photo on the tip of it. Earth Splitter Button Destruction is also there on top of it, helping save Arteezy and pull him out. They're going to have the Zop Song now to help reset the fight. They're getting on OG side. They're going to drop down the coil. They're looking so far. He's around now. He's got no more man to work. Can't make it away. He's going to be dropped. Easy fight now as they move on forward. No tail. Desperate to make it out. Gets off the time walk. Gets his life back. But the chase is on. Smell has a double. And he wants to make it a triple. The fuse is there, but... No Radiance tail again has to time off back to safe. And then you have to like blink when you're constantly getting scuffed out by Radiance. Try to get a kill on our. Ooh, what? Oh, oh, that off. was that was nicely done. Uh, but okay, that was also a nice chrono. As Arteezy copping his ever to the top lane, will pay the price. It takes four O members to stop him here, but they are going to be able to at least get the grab on the fly. It looks like a small response play, so. 
props man to dodge, but RT no kill play. too. A lot of players have been warning just whipping their Kronika at that point, but you no, know, they have to kill AM over and over again. He's by far their net worth leader on the side of AG, and they can regain a lot of the gold by killing him over and over again. Looks like they see no tail now, though. He's going to be able to walk out. He's got some time dilation, but already has so much work being done. And with that purge, too, he has no options. And without a Chrono, can't really do much about Song now. Gonna get blasted out as they spotted S4, but they also see Ana. They yeah, see Ana back in behind. And that is gonna be enough for EG to just totally withdraw. They are gonna be happy. Starting to force Emoji back into the high ground. We'll see what they can do to hold it about. Oh, they still leave Ana in the top lane. Pushing it in slowly, and that's gonna be Artigi's call to go in. Yeah, he's got the Aegis. We can afford to be the one to see, didn't lose that life. Just as fast as he's done, first getting out the destruction, and now we have AM Illusions going to work. Tier 3 is going to be down, the first phase for done by DG. Inner Lord for Mike's final, they're going to pull back on Universe, and they're going to commit in the Chrono, look at the first time they're back, and they will be able to do it quickly. Bat is going to take care of while RTG is looking to commit in quick. Good lose his Aegis, and there it's going to be dropped. OG, actually a pretty good formation. That's where Zai says. Hold on a second, slow your roll. Dyer's Puts out the song. Now they look a bit more no-tail here, possibly. He gets the tribe walk off. Done for fly. Quick burst forward from Ana. Should be taking out the bail. Arteezy, though, big hit with the Mana Void. Not going to be able to get the finish. And suddenly it's EG looking to pull out. Can they make it away? The focus is going to be on Arteezy. They pop out his Lincoln, they move in. And now the right clicks continue. They got the finger of death and they got the grab. OG hold the bottom lane as they take out four. Can they stop dying? No. My goodness. Radiance middle tower is under attack. An hour deep Naga AM games. And now we have uh, Arteezy knocking away here. But bottom, look at this Sumail cutting off no tail, not allowing to get up there. That Chrono, he's going to be forced to commit in here onto Sumail. Right clicks him down quite a bit, but it's not going to have the damage. He's going to have to let one, that one go, which means they have to let the whole top lane go at this rate. Fortified. Jerix helps out a bit with the stomp, but the Zai's going to be there with the song shortly Radiance after. Now, See, that's, the, that's the sleep shenanigan. Radiance you sleep, you run towards their ancient, and then you bounce while it makes a kind of tower. They get the top set. Now our team's looking to go on mid. Sumail jumps the back line and quickly annihilates the takes out fly. He has no buyback. Looks like this will quickly be the game. That's going to be the mana void to execute no tail. No tail's going to be forced to buy back now. And as we all know, he does not have a pro to work with. They have no more racks to stand. That's going to be game number one. He, he taken. The trade ultimate. Uh, that was a profitable pick in the kind of position Sai is going to be in, but. There's something I danced around with a bit in Overthrow, and it definitely seemed to do a ridiculous amount of damage, and here we go already. First blood is going to be on S4 in the bottom lane, and it goes to Arteezy. They make that look effortless, just deep. Now going to have to cross over the smoke screen here. Long hit, the fortunes end. Now S4 steps into play, still not level 6, and without a lasso. They do not have a whole lot of say in the matter, as it looks like they will be able to swarm around, fly, and get the finish. So why did Riki fall off so much? It seems like he's just owned this early game for them. He's having problems against, I guess, is my first Radiant line of detective work. Now, I'm not too sure, to be honest. Zai's making a great case for him here, as uh, Universe by his side sets up the war, and they yeah. take his four down again. Yeah, Riki. No, he is not. He knows they have a sentry up there, though, because they took down his ward, but S4. Oh, that's good. It's been a rough game for him already. Zero and three. Let's make it zero and four. Smoke screen. Nowhere really to fly. They're going to commit the war on this one just to secure it. Universe with a killing spree. The TP2 of your EG. Just as fast as he gets the prison on. There's going to be S4 with the lasso and the pullback. Now looking to fly on board. On a needs a bit more mana. A bit more of a jump. Gets it now, but Zai shows up. Gets off the smoke screen, but the... Prison is going to be, unfortunately, onto the bat. I don't know if Sumo maybe put it onto himself. It might have been helping keep him alive, but over Radiant's here on the side, it looks like Universe is caught up in a bit of arm. Still holds onto the Primal Roar here. May need to use it or might decide to hold it if he feels like he could be dropping his own life. The chase is on. Stolen more. The chase America, but now getting it coaxed attack. in under a smoke screen. Zai turns it back and around. That's after the Roar is going to be committed. S4 continues to make chase. Now has to offer a team. There it is. Oh, they went up the stairs. S4 to 
towards Arteezy. Now this is going to be the stolen roar committed onto Arteezy. Another roar, this one from Universe. The last will pull up as they get Arteezy to the high ground now. The Lels on it to isolate it up there, and they're going to be able to get the first, but the false promise does come out to keep Arteezy alive. They continue to duke it out with the bottom half. They move in for no tail. The book being able to push him back and away. Arteezy does get finished. EG could consider pulling off now. But first they're going to get the swipe onto Jerex, making it a one-for-one -one trade, but that is all EG are going to be able to get. They pull off and away, but the Invis body block. No Tail has to know she's there, so that's when the TPs begin to roll in. EG are not going to be looking to Radiant's overstretch their boundaries here. Yeah. Four, looking to move in. Just as he tries to go for the left of play, he's already ready to go and jumps in with his own primal <laughs> roar. The mixed connection. Donut might with it. Yeah, Bloodstone at the ready. He's only a half mana though, so that's not ideal. Oh, they surround his mail with the benefit of that is rune. Eric and Anna are hoping that they can get the job done, but Dice here now drops down the smoke screen, makes things a bit interesting. Tricks the trade, he's gonna be committed. And now Arteezy tries to get the finish onto Anna. They are gonna be able to bring him down, but that's just gonna be the Aegis. Zion Company look to backpedal and make it away. Jarex now. Gets Arteezy set up with the Astral, another stolen, maybe a stolen smoke screen. Now the right comes coming in from No Tail and is gonna be able to take out Arteezy. The damage. The rest of EG have already kind of hightailed it back. There's a few straggling behind. They might be able to kind of just step out. It looks like it's melt to the low ground, but the chase continues. This S4 blinks over, flame breaks, right clicks, and they're going to get it done. Damn. Sumail's going to be dropped, so will Arteezy. The Storm Spirit doesn't have. Uh doesn't have the Aegis. He doesn't have instant respawn either. Only 12 charges on a level 13 Storm Spirit. And Radiant has you scanned. They have found someone. And so, oh, it's fly. It's their fat support. Oh, the right click's coming out. It's some extra burst. They're going to be able to get it. And Swarm was also around. Universe catches him again with another roar. And we'll take him out. Oh, that's a nice plus one to get. Yes, it is. Now EG have been kind of permitted more uh, farm time. And... He went for the unusual build. They're going for the Blink Dagger before the Necro 2. You'll see it sometimes, uh, the Blink Dagger before the Necro 3. Whoa, man. A huge jump in there by... What they need to do on Arteezy and are looking to punish anyone else who's willing to be a bit overzealous. And it could be Zai. Zai sees him. Drops down the smoke. Follow-up play is the jump from Universe with the Arteezy bomb. Will have to quickly take out S4. But now on it. Get the pullback on for Sumail. They're going to look to right from the pocket. They're going to get it done. Here comes the damage now. No tail right clicking through on Arteezy. Going to get the false promise to keep him alive and well. Damage to use the chunk though. And I don't think there's enough heal to save him from it. And that will be the destruction. Double kill now for No Tail. But and with that and the power of Ana moving on forward, they will quickly shrek on through. Four of EG. Oracle is very underwhelming this game too. They for catch there by OG. They'll just kind of reset the lane unless they're doing a long cutoff here. Look at this. They could come all the way across here and catch EG on the way out. That's what Sumail or uh, S4's game plan is. Oh, he'll settle for the courier. Gets that one and gets the great grab. Ana making a long committed jump. It looks like they will be able to get just the support snipe along with the courier takedown. Just an example of how OG been able to kind of read the map a bit better. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Using the Beastmaster as the vehicle for the life steal, however, they're still five strong. I really think Radiance you can lose middle that. Tower Want to fight fallen. now, but it's just not the right time. They're thinking about it. They're yeah. hanging on the outside, but eventually uh, OG's going to be inside the base. And he's not really been able to die. He has to go in the tricks of the trade. Universe commits in. They're going to be able to blow up S4 get right away. The they snag in. They quickly grab up the gem now, and OG push off of it. They didn't like that, and they do not follow up. Oh man, there's actually some decent damage coming up. Here, G. Okay, on it, looking all the way in. See you later, Zai. Blew the man down. Destruction. How is that only 1,000 of the 1,600 mana? I mean, they increased mana costs too. It looks like he did like. He definitely did like. <laughs> I've always been really bad about judging Storm's mana usage, too. Like you think it's such an easy jump, then you're out of mana. <laughs> well, you gotta, like, get a bottle along the way, pull out all the tricks in them. Okay. Or just have... Yeah, cover and lots of charges. On it begins to go to work here with that first slide. Try to get the jump, they're gonna get the lasso, they're gonna get the pullback, a false promise will be there to bail out the easy lasso way. Cast a flying and OG pedal a bit. 
EGA waiting for their new approach now. Not looking to overextend outside the base and close this one out sooner than they'd like. And OG fast to get new trees on the ground. Where's that movement is? That's going to be the racks down already. How useless is life to a real kick? Oh my goodness. Really not getting a whole lot. And Ronda will make it in for a snail. There's going to be the pullback. He gets off the prison onto himself. And now Ronda pretty much disappearing from the map. I don't know where he went. Now making the jump on the keys. He gets the pullback in the kill. That's a big down. Mega kill for no tail. And as he looks to fall, he's trying to get some mail here. A new prison will be there, but they eventually grab him. He's going to be out for a to buy back. And that will cost them the rest. That's pretty much the game right there. Honest one. Great yeah. storm, though. Gave way too much space to no tail, though. I don't really like his decision, though, to go to the ancient. I don't really think that propelled them to where they needed to be, because it allowed Jerex to just farm so much in that safe lane. And a lot of that was due to Universal's choice of just completely stack a lane. But the way they proceeded systematically from lane to ancient to Roche and just met beats up with spirit. Marksmanship plus blood loss is just as way too much EG to handle. And that will be the official call seeing the tracks going to punch being him off for a whole lot. Certainly does look good. And it's a major probably owns Reaper. Whoa, 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 okay. whoa. EG taking a page out of Secret Book. They do the five man movement right down this lane. The cross pass just comes out. All the back of the disruptive play on to Onika to get the finish. They can. And here we go, folks. Game reaction here away. Jared sees the front of the damage. Highs over the trees. The Blazers are going to be coming through with it against that kill. Also, good more connection to S4. A follow up second. So it is going to be there on to two. As another one's going to get dropped. It makes it three turn all day from OG. They're also going to be. For no tail. Will they actually jump to make it four before he was it Mark? Yes, they will. Wrap it out nice. That's the decision. Into a, into a stun, and EG are here to play and get three. Five to zero, man. Oh. Mm, down to the middle. But, huh? How has Darkeezy been? Double damage. All the ridiculous kills. It looks like he has the Helm of Iron Will. And uh, now kind of just controls the whole. Mid lane, and so this mid can do this. He can get mid lane. Connect it with Torrent, just casually picks up with all of the DD. Derrick, but that was a nice that was close. Nice call from EG. It seems like Dyer's they actually house. they called Kunkka, but if Kunkka hadn't TP when he did, they Dyer's that would have been a much more sticky situation. Give her strikes in the mid lane, and it will allow them to get the takedown. Try to lead it in with the Carapace stuff. G are not going to feel good about moving into the jungle. To the north for TD. If you freeze back up, he's dead. Oh, uh, he has come here for chasing for Ana. There's the rest of the team. Bolt's back. She's not going to be able to connect now. Moves to the Boulder. Pops out the Trinity Tide. I don't know he's going to have left while he's able to move it. Quick pick out the. That is going to be crippling to OG. The Magnetizer are not. They continue to move in. And they're going to quickly execute one of the Stun on the Jerk. Right click to be there. Ready to be the Four going to get wiped. They will. Zartiz there at the end. Dyer's middle tower. <laughs> Ancient stack up there, but top lane. He's rushing off for S4. There's going to be the third, and suddenly a roll of Jarek. He's going to make the move. He gets the two man stun connection, then falls up with the mass. He already knows that Chris can be gone, so he's made the move for Universe next. And that can lead to his takedown, and suddenly OG have been able to string together five kills in the past minute. Uh oh, looks like Zai has. Come across Ana here, is trying his best to pull him back, gets with the torrent. Go so will fly through. So will this stall takes out long enough for Universe to show up, it will. Jumps in, careful stunts, two man stunts. And uh, they're persistent, man. They want to get tied down. They commit the magnetized support. They will be able to get the grab. Now, and so with the follow up, goes to Chris, gets that too, but now the cores are coming out. And that is when OG need to make the call, and that's going to be the song retreat. And we'll have to settle with just taking down a couple of supports. He'll be able to bounce back the way. We'll have to fill up a bit, but all needs to be to go to work. Sieging away at the tier three. OG. Tournament lobby suspended up with another McDonald's. As he makes the last of the play, plus they can just run. Here comes the bow. It's going to annihilate us for EG. Shrug off the pedestal from OG. Or waiting around on the back end of his Firefly. Mel's in next, but out to that tier three. Bolus is there. Universe's jump is going to be a stun for Jarek. S4 could look for the opening, but his Firefly is now concluded. Jarek is going to have to get a shallow grave that's still alive, and now no tail. Pulls out the song. Pulls out the illusions, but he's not going to be doing a whole lot on the offensive. Now on it. Making a jump in, looking to go for Prince. Jumps out, avoids the stun, jumps back in, but this time can't avoid too much. There's the grave 
stay in the warp back though. Has to jump out for a third time to make it away from trouble. And then the Dazzle gonna be eating the warp passes. The Eclipse flies forward. They almost get the burst onto No Tail, onto Ana, but they were pretty forced instead to go back inside the fountain where it's safe. Well, he's gonna get a little work on the racks. They see as part, and they quit to take him out. He's gonna be forced to fly back down. Oh, he's gonna be able to get the pullback for in. Can't get them to get it's knocked over the head with loose to see if they will go down. 15 seconds left. Thanks to that stone. Oh, you called it. You said it was going to be a race, and EGR sprinting across the finish line. They clean up the remnants of OG's face, and they have a little fight left in them. S4 oh, and ignoring every jump by S4. Could be answered by EG, and that is going to lead to take it down. Nope, we're going to get dropped. He's going to have to fight on his final Harava defense. is going to be forced to raise and a back to that once again. As the shows up, he is just going to get shredded apart. Sumail, the man, the beast, rushes him and controls. Guys, the kick back to Look at the kick back from Eric. Cute little play there. We'll get down into the ground. But just like too slow ramp up, and there's too many items on EG. And that like, the speeder is like kind of spread damage as is like the battle. Oh, but then four rolls right over his firefly with a carapace. And, and now he's going to the Sumail and Artigazi on a track. They are going to be able to take down Crit in the back inside, but that hasn't stopped the board yet. That's where he's going to get the grab. It's on Arteezy. There's the pull all the way in. Arteezy pops up the Eclipse and his BKB. And then Rush is on back and through the boat. Coming up from Zai. Keeps him alive as well. Now get these fires. Right. And back to with the corner. Now on the end. It's all the square. I take forward. <laughs> and that is it. EGR going to get back. Uh, like a kick to do pre for spirit, but there's a beacon B on the Luna. There is a lot of items on the Alphas right now. Even a perfect way to do a couple of that is not gonna put them ahead of the edge of the pub. Alright, they get a quick ult on the crit, and then they actually spot out the easy to go for the get through there once again. And you can first to quickly put down S4 as he does the save. Oh, Adam, with the big save, we'll be able to make it. As he ball light up in the trees, a four fly though. Four fly was spotted and universe man. He had He's been a serious bully in this game. Both are just lift. This has certainly gotta be it. If OG can't hold this game is over. Jumping on it, quickly he's up. Someone's over the back end of it. This is gonna be good for OG. Don't lie shortly after it's over. On his in. We get that to get pulled right back into this little under the hat. Mixing rid of all those illusions and looks all for Jarex now, but Jarex is going to get the raid. The rest of the bullying and pushing back the rest of the team off. This is the first to be dropped. The Rax has gone down to Megatron and EG. Well, it looks they've done it. It's going to be squared up against the second final. You did a ridiculous series.